Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a MATLAB project which is entitled as Identification of Plant Disease from Leaf Images based on Convolutional Neural Network which is an IEEE 2023 transaction paper. Before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So in agriculture, the plant diseases will reduce the yield and production and which causes a major loss to the farmers. So identifying the diseases in the plants is one of the important factor in agriculture and also to prevent it from the diseases and increase the revenue of the farmer and make their production more. So there are various scientific approaches available and in this paper the authors have proposed the plant disease detection from the leaf of the images based on the convolutional neural network and the authors have implemented using inception v3 cnn model but we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the waste paper so now let us see about the proposed system so here can see the proposed IEEE base paper title and our proposed title is plant disease classification using deep learning and this is about the IEEE base paper and coming to the proposed system so we are going to implement using the AlexNet CNN model and we are going to implement using the MATLAB and the accuracy that we have achieved is 99.61 percentage so this is the accuracy that we have achieved using the AlexNet CNN model and uh, here in the data set part so we are going to identify 10 distinct plant disease classes that is apple black rot apple rust cherry powdery mildew corn leaf blight grape black rot peach bacterial spot potato yearly blight soya bean healthy strawberry leaf scorch and tomato late blight so these are the plant diseases that we are going to identify and classify the based on the images now let me show you the image part so first let me go into the coding part in the data set part you can find all the 10 classes that i have mentioned from the apple black rot to tomato late blight so now let me show you with the uh, images of the each class so here you can see this is about the apple black rot images and it is about the apple rust these are the leaf images of the cherry powdery mildew uh, disease this is the images of corn leaf blight and this is about the gray black rot and this is about the peach bacterial spot this is about the potato yearly blight disease which affects on potato leaf and this is about the soya bean this is a healthy image of the soya bean and this is about the strawberry leaf scotch disease which affects on strawberry and finally is the tomato late blight this affects on the tomato plant so these are the images that we are going to train the system or model and uh, as mentioned so we will be using uh, here we will be using some image processing technique for the pre-processing also and uh, as mentioned so we have achieved the accuracy of 99.61 percentage so these are the details that is mentioned in the abstract part and coming to the existing system as mentioned we are taking the IEEE base paper that is existing so we have, ta we have impl implemented the details about the inception v3 architecture which is mentioned in the base paper those, those details are mentioned in the existing system part and coming to the disadvantages of the existing system so which contains the disadvantages that is used in the existing system of using the inception v3 model and here you can see the proposed system which is implemented using our proposed AlexNet CNN model and here you can see the details of the proposed system and this is all the advantage of the proposed system and coming to the system architecture you can see the training and the testing process so this is the training process where plant disease database images have been 
even to pre-process enhancement and resizing part and training using AlexNet CNN model is done and generation of the model train model is being done. And next coming to the train model, the input plant images is being given and pre-processing is done using enhancement by clash and resize and classification using AlexNet CNN is being done, train model is being loaded into that and after that the classified results based on the different plant diseases are and also finally we will be showing the performance measure analysis part. And these are the modules of the project and this is the module description of the project. And these are the system requirements with the hardware and software requirements. As mentioned, we are developed using MATLAB and the version that we are using is MATLAB or 2021A. And this is the reference of the project base paper. So now let us see the execution of the project. So first uh, go to the source code location. This is the source code location. So just copy the source code location. Now open MATLAB or 2021A. So in the address bar, let me paste the location that I have copied and click enter. And now you can see in the left side panel, the source code has been loaded and let me select the final dot M and right click it and then click run. Now the system is processing. And now you can see the GUI of the project with the project title plant disease classification using deep learning. The first thing is like we need to read the test image and pre-processing should be done and plant disease classification is done and performance analysis will be done. So let me show you one by one and first let me read the test image and you can just select the images that is available in the data set part or the test image whichever you wanted let me go to the test image part so these are the images that is available in the test image part so now let me select this image so this is the image i have selected and let me click the pre-processing and now you can see the pre-processing is done using image contrast enhancement using clash and uh, the resized image is being shown here and next comes the classification part so just click this plant disease classification and kindly wait for few seconds so now you can see the message train network model was loaded and now you can see the plant disease classification using AlexNet CNN is made and it is being classified as peach bacterial spot so now let me close this let me run it again read the test image and let me go to the this time I'll go to the data set part let me show you with the each case so let me go to the first part apple black rot and let me select a random image and this is the image selected and let me go to the pre-processing now you can see the pre-processed image and let me click the plant disease classification now the train model will be loaded into the system and you can see the classification is made as black apple black rot so you can also ch check with the uh, other cases let me check uh, and show you with the other case reading the test image and go to the data set part let me go to the apple rest and let me select a random image and then go for the pre-processing and this is the pre-process image and let me select the plant disease classification and now you can see it has been classified as apple rust And now let me read an image that is available in cherry powdery meldo. It is the image I have selected and go for the pre-processing. And now let us see the classification result for this. Now you can see the classified result is cherry powdery meldo. This is the plant disease classification which is made using the AlexNet CNN model. And now let me select an image from the corn leaf blight part so this is the corn leaf blight part let me click the pre-processing this is the pre-process image and let me find the classified result for this using the cnn alexnet cnn and here you can see it is being displayed as corn leaf blight so it has uh, classified correctly till now and let me go to the gray black rot and let me select this image this is the image I selected and let me go for the pre-processing part and let me click the plant disease classification and now you can see it is classified as gray black rot and now let me run it again let me select an image from the 
Speech Bacterial part. This is the part that I am going to do. Select it. Uh, let me go for the pre-processing. And now let me select the plant disease classification. And now it is classified as Speech Bacterial part correctly. And now let me read from the other case that is potato yearly blight. Let me select this image and go for the pre-processing and let me classify the image. So now it is correctly classified as potato yearly blight. And now let me run it again to check with the other case. Let me go to the soya bean part and let me click the pre-processing and this is the classify this let me see check and here you can see it is soya bean it is a healthy leaf image and now let me go for the other part strawberry so let me select this image this is the image is selected and here is the pre-processed of the image and let me see the classified result of this image and here you can see it is classified as strawberry leaf stretch and finally Let me select the tomato late blight part. Let me select an image and go for the pre processing. This is the pre processed image with the image contrast enhancement using clutch and resized image. And go for the plant disease classification. And here you can see the image is being classified as tomato late blight. So, till now we have seen all the 10 classes with the sample 1 images. You can check with other cases which is available both in the training on the test folder. Uh, if I'm going to show you with all the things, the video length will be more so you can check with the other part. Let me move to the next part that is the performance analysis part. So just click this performance analysis part and kindly wait for a few minutes. So here in the document, you can see the details of the performance analysis part. So we'll be seeing the calculating the performance analysis part like uh, accuracy, error value, precision value, recall value, specificity, F1, F score and MCC that is Matthews correlation coefficient so now you need to wait till you see this completed message so now I click completed so now let us see the things that is being generated so now you can see that uh, figure one here so this is the uh, sample uh, images with the predicted score so now you can see the image here which is peach bacterial spot with 100 percentage classified as 100 percentage and here with this image grab grape black crot with 100 percentage and potato yearly blight image with 96.9 percentage and tomato late blight with 100 percentage so here you can see maximum it has been classified as 100 percentage and few with 99 percentage so apple rust cherry pottery apple rust potato yearly blight apple rust potato yearly blight grape black pot and potato yearly blight so these are the images that is uh, sample images that been classified with the predicted score and coming to the next part that is the confusion matrix so here you can see the confusion matrix with the all the 10 classes with the true and the predicted label of it so here you can see the classes like uh, apple black rot apple rust cherry powdery mildew corn leaf blight grape black rot peach bacterial spot potato yearly blight soya bean healthy strawberry leech scotch tomato late blight so all the classes that we have used is been done so so finally comes the performance analysis uh, part which contains the performance analysis parameter of accuracy which is 99.61 percentage error value with 0.0039 precision with 0.9944 specificity with 0.9996 and sensitivity with 0.9950 f1 score with 0.9946 cmcc value with 0.9942 and here you can see those calculations in the comment prompt and in this way you can check with the other images that is available in the data path. and this is all about the project plant disease classification using deep learning or identification of plant disease from leaf images based on convolutional neural network using matlab and thank you for watching